Back here live at the Waterfront Village with my friend, the zombie, Jonathan. You're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. Hey guys, it is Spooky Noodles, and I am here with a book review. And what we are reviewing today is Keelan Patrick Burke's The Turtle Boy. And I want to say right from the get-go, this was a coming-of-age story that I did not see coming. It really uh, was an impact for sure, and I enjoyed every single bit of it. My only knock on it is it's too short. It's a novella, and uh, I read, I listened to the audiobook, which was like two and a half hours. I can't remember the exact length, but uh, blew through it like it was nothing. Um, and it was amazing, absolutely amazing. I, I enjoyed every little bit of the story. Um, my Like I said, my only knock is it, it was a, too short. Um, I feel like he could have expanded on the friendship between him and his uh, t Timmy and his friend uh, Pete. I wish he expanded more on that friendship and because it was really quickly breezed through, you know, they didn't really get time to, for that friendship to develop. Um, so I wish uh, there was more development between the friends. Um, I wish there was more development between him and the girl. Um, but uh, this, all this stuff, all these knocks that I'm giving, uh, probably can be resolved by just reading more of the books in the series. Um, although I can't really give anything away, but um, just, just the relationship between, between Pete and uh, and uh, Timmy should have. I just wish that that friendship, the bond that they had, was uh, more. Uh, expanded on wish it was expanded more on or whatever <laughs> i'm the moron um uh let me read you the synopsis for the turtle boy and maybe it will be a book you guys would want to read but for me it was like I, oh i didn't even give you my star rating yet i gave this one four stars um i enjoyed it a lot it's going in my top 10 for sure coming of age list um I think I'm going to put it probably at number six, uh, maybe seven. I don't know. I, I need to actually look at the books that I have on the list so far. It's definitely hopping over a few books, but uh, I don't know if it was like better than The Troop or better than Summer of Night. So I'm going to have to really think about that. Um, it was too short. Um, I wish it was longer, um, but I already said that. Um, so let me read the synopsis for you, and maybe it will be a book you guys would like to read. So let's read it. School is out and summer has begun. For 11-year-old Timmy Quinn and his best friend Pete Marshall, a dr the dreary town of Delaware, Ohio. Eh, I'm a Michigander. We hate Ohio. So, sorry. Uh, Ohio becomes a place of magic, hidden treasure, and discovery. But th on the day... They encounter the strange young boy sitting on the bank of Myers Pond. A pond playground rumor says, May hide turtles the size of Buicks. Everything changes. For it soon becomes apparent that dark secrets abound in the little community. Secrets with which come cupped in the hands of the dead. And in a heartbeat, Timmy and Pete's summer of wonder becomes a season of terror, betrayal, and murder. So that's what uh, this this book is about. Um, basically, Keelan Patrick Burke does an amazing job um, writing this coming of age story. Um, the boy is totally innocent, and I love Timmy. Um, he he he! I can't wait to read the next book in the series. Um, and I hate series. If you know me, you I I like standalone books. I don't like having to read a next of a series, but. This is a coming of age story, and I can't help but know want to know more. Like that's what this this book was so short, and I wish it was longer. Like I wish he expanded on the friendship a little bit more, and the relationship between him and the girl, and maybe even the relationship between his parents, which he did an okay job at that too. Um, he really told a, a great story. Um, I just wish he expanded a little bit more. 
and there's more books to read so maybe the expansion of some of these characters will be uh better in the other books but uh this book could have been a standalone book um for sure if if they just expanded on a lot of more things um i feel like maybe one day he can take all the timmy quinn series books and just combine them into one uh linear storyline and uh it could just be sold as a book i'd buy that sucker in a second because timmy is a character I, I would love to follow and read more about um so i'm going to probably continue the series the next book in the series i believe is called the hides i think i'm probably wrong um i can actually probably look this up um uh da -da 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 -da. let's see here uh the hides i was right the hides and then you have vessels and then peregrine's tail oops i didn't mean to there we go uh so yeah there's uh those um four books or well i mentioned three books that come after the turtle boy but uh very 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 interesting uh story i like the character timmy and his uh abilities i won't give it away what his abilities are but uh it's a very uh um i i want to mention a a movie but i would be giving away a big thing in the book so i'm not going to mention the movie that i want to mention partially because i don't want to ruin it for you partially because i can't remember the title of the movie at the moment um <laughs> but it's written uh, the i'm just going to give you a hint the movie's i believe was written by m night Shyamalan. if i'm not wrong it's like his only good movie um I, I like this movie, or, or, it was like a movie in my head, but uh, I like this book a lot. Um, it's definitely going in my top 10, like I said, of coming of age stories. Um, I just, like I said, the only knock I have on it is it was too short. It was a novella and I just wish I, I wish there was more. I wish he, he told more about the friendships and, and stuff. And I wish there was more scare scenes and I just wanted more and that's what a good story does to you in, in a sense you always want more when you read a good book and but I just felt like this one was just too short um, but it did want me to it made me want to read the rest of the series um Keelan Patrick Burke is an amazing writer uh, let me just throw that out there real quick uh, I know I, my buddy my buddy Edward Lorne he uh he uh, talks about Keelan Patrick Burke. Like, I have Blanky. I think I own Blanky. Um, I'm not going to go looking for it, but I own Blanky uh, by Keelan Patrick Burke. And I was thinking about buying another Keelan Patrick Burke book. Um, I already own Peregrine's Tale, but that's the fourth in the series. I need uh, number two and three, and then I'll be good. I mean, they're all available on ebook, but I would love the hardcovers for all these books, especially the first one, Tur The Turtle Boy. The turtle boy was just amazing you know he there's a disturbing scene where the the the, the well i'll let you read it and you can find the the disturbing scene but it's when he first meets this kid and i can't remember the kid's name for the life of me uh he's just known as the turtle boy and uh yeah it's it's just a very scary scene um i liked it a lot i i wasn't really paying attention to the beginning of the story like I was like half-heartedly listening to it, but but slowly as the story continued, I was engrossed into it, and I had to listen and I had to give it my undivided attention, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, I give this book four stars. Um, it's just short, and that's why it's not a five-star read for me. Um, if it was a little bit longer and and you got to know the characters a little bit better. I would have given this one a solid five because the writing's perfect um the st storytelling's amazing uh the scare scenes were great it's just lacking with the, the it's just so short i i wish it was longer but uh that's my review of the turtle boy by keelan patrick burke i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you have a good day and a spooky night and i'll see you in the next video bye guys now i am become death